hit start streaming. <gasps> How exciting. Oh, we're live. We're live. Okay, so welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. We've got a very special stream today. Uh, I'm Bex from Nomad Games. I'm Gareth, from, also from Nomad Games, Spartan. And we are streaming with um, Scott, Six Scott, as he's well known in the Twitching world. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to be playing a bit of Talisman. And we are streaming with... Ooh, um, let's just Scott. mute us before we end up. Right, sorry. So go on, Wait. Scott, tell us a bit about... You've played Talisman before, haven't you? Gareth. I'm going to be terrible at it, but you know. Oh, you're playing me. He'll be fine. <laughs> as long as you're not playing Gareth, he's the expert. I think our ratio is a bit wrong on Twitch as we're on a squished window. Oh, we're all squashed. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing that. Yeah. <laughs> Makes us it's look thinner. That's fine. Video. Right. I'm just going to take us down so I can fix that because the, out the output resolution is four by three. Okay, we'll be Which back. Which is not in, helpful. We'll be back in a second then. So, be back with you. I should fix that. Sound is fine. That's good to hear. Right, we should be back live in a few seconds in proper ratio. There we are. Hey, Ooh, go us. That looks better. Right, so for anyone that is tuning in and doesn't know what Talisman is, the easiest way of explaining it is that it's somewhere between Monopoly and Dungeons and & Dragons. So it's a fancy role-playing game where you pick your character out of the box, you roll for movement, certain spaces allow you to draw cards, and depending on what the cards do, you get to fight monsters, you face strangers, you face events. Certain spaces have certain outcomes already on them, you roll to see what the outcome is. The aim of the game is to get a Talisman, hence the name, and that allows you access to the center space, which when we load into the game, you'll get to see what the center of the space, uh, center of the board is, which is the crown of command. Now, depending on what ending you've got active, uh, affects what you want to have done by the time you get there, or it affects what happens when you do get there. But we'll see that again when we start. And that's where we are. So, we're gonna launch the game. So today, we're just gonna do, um a one-on-one -on -one game with Stephen. Gonna talk him through it because it's a while since he's played. <laughs> oh, so it, it, it's you versus six it's Scott. It's me. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna play to make it a bit more even because Gareth's too good at this game. He's played it too many times. In theory. In theory, in theory. So I am gonna be, ooh, I do like the ninja, but the ninja can't take followers, can he? Do you know, I've never played the genie. Good character. I'm gonna try the genie. I'm gonna try the genie. genie, yeah. So each character has its own unique set of abilities. Certain characters favor spells. So on the left Ooh. of your screen, by the character icons in the top left, we've got a red stat, which is our strength, and a blue stat, which is a craft. And the craft affects the number of spells you can hold and how many, well, yeah, it affects the number of spells you can hold. The green stat is our health, so when we get to zero, we die and we get reset effectively. We drop all the stuff that we've got in the game onto a space, and then if you can get back there before your opponent does, you can pick it back up. So, so go on, tell me, remind me what the genie does. What does the genie do? Let's have a look. Go on. So I know what I'm supposed to be doing. What are my so special abilities? We start the game with a spell, which we've already drawn. Yeah, if we land on. on a forest or crag space, we don't need to roll. Yeah. We don't lose life in the desert. When That's you, handy. When you defeat a character in battle or psychic combat, you may take a follower instead of taking gold, object, or life, which is super oh, useful. And is you useful. may combine all types of enemy trophies. So one oh, of the really? Ways, mm, that's good. Oh, we took too long to explain that. I should probably increase the, <laughs> the timer on the game. That's my special ability. I always miss my turn. <laughs> yeah, so one of the ways that we increase our stats, our strength and our craft, is by defeating enemies. And we get a trophy for how strong the enemy was. So if we face a lion that has three strength, we defeat it, we get a three-point trophy. When all our trophies of strength or of craft add up to seven, we can trade that in for an increase of one to our strength or craft respectively 
and the genie allows us to use either or so we can combine craft and strength trophies to get stronger right so in this game we've also got the reaper active which you can see the, the board is made up of three regions. You've got an outer region, a middle region, and an inner region. If you roll a one, you get to roll for the Reaper. If you can get the Reaper to land on another character, they have to roll on his chart. We'll see that when, I'm sure it'll happen at some point in the game. If you want to roll? Yeah, I'll roll before my turn runs out. So yeah, so we're just playing with one expansion today. Um, because we're streaming with Steven, he's got a new audience. This is more of a sort of introduction to Talisman. And I'll go there before I forget what I'm doing. I wouldn't have moved out of the middle region. Oh, wouldn't you? Nope. Different <laughs> tactics, you see. I'm a novice. So the middle region has a space that allows you to draw three cards, a space that allows you to draw two cards, and in the top right it's got the temple, which if you roll two dice there, any outcome over six when you add the two dice together is a positive outcome. But... Generally, the cards that you get, I get anyway, in that region, generally the monsters. They're not much, not many treasures to behold in that region. But the middle region has the same uh, draw deck as the outer region. Well, so. for me, it's always rubbish in that region. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes, okay. So, do you play much tabletop games, uh, Stu, Stephen, Scott? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's also digital, but I haven't played any physical board games <laughs> for. Oh, how long has it been? It was Monopoly, and I don't remember when that was. Monopoly! It, it, there's probably a reason <laughs> for that. In my experience, all Monopoly games end up with you trying to wipe the memory. Because you just end up hating everyone that you're playing with. Yeah, it lasted, it lasted a while. I'm gonna go for. Uh, I'm too used to playing nothing on the iPad. I'm going to go for a sword. I'm going a sword. Increase my strength. So as we've rolled one, we get to move to the ah, Reaper. Ah, the Reaper. Right. Um, coming to get one you, Stephen. Oh. Um, oh, I'll go there. I'm safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely safe over there. So th there's a... Wait, I'm gonna So one of the perks of the pirates is that he can press gang strangers and he can use them in combat, I think. So some strangers are really helpful. They can give you automatic boost to your strength or craft. They can allow you to steal items from your opponent. And Ooh. some of them are not so great. The pirate. So, <laughs> so if you draw certain strangers, they can take uh, force you to discard weapons. They can take a life from you immediately. Because you are the pirate, if you come across any of those people, you just go, you're now a follower instead. And then they will trail you about the board instead of having to deal with the bad things that they could offer. And we've now got a good pirate. <laughs> I notice. Yeah, I'm a nice pirate. Yeah. <laughs> So as we can see oh. from this screen, combat oh. is our craft or strength plus a dice roll. So as we rolled a five and our craft is three, our attack score came to eight. I can't remember what we were just fighting, but that was that had craft of two and that two. rolled a six, which I also know. came to eight. I thought I was going to win that. I was not happy. Almost a sure thing. I was thing. like, great roll, great roll. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go in the opposite direction. You just, yeah. You're scared. You're scared of the genie. I mean, I would be. Four. Can imagine what you can do. I'm gonna yeah, go. A pirate would be more intimidating than a genie. I think so. He's certainly a bit stronger than I am. Oh, an amulet. I'll have that. Genies love bling. Not bling that means they can't cast spells. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. So as we're playing with the Crown of, Com uh, Crown of Command ending, that is the vanilla ending that comes with the base game, it's first to get to the centre, uh, then has to roll... <gasps> 
That's what you're looking for in the game, a talisman. No! I want one of those! No, don't worry about it, it's fine. So a talisman is needed to get to that central space in the board. If you don't have one, you just get blocked on that final uh, space before the stairs. So when yes, we get to the crown, right. we roll a dice. If we roll four, five, or six, we take a life from our opponent, and we keep doing that until they're dead. I got a holy lance and some gold. Now that was a good spot. I'm sure you won't get that in the inner region. <laughs> some confirmation bias there. <laughs> There's also, if anyone's a Horace Heresy fan, there's also a Horace Heresy version of Talisman that we've done as well. Which, yeah, that, um, uh, if anyone's into Games Workshop or 40k, um, I'm going to go over there. Is a really nice adaptation of Talisman, the same sort of concept, working around the board as a board game, but you, um, I don't even know what I just did then. What did I roll? You went to the tavern and you rolled a four, which is gamble and win one goal. Oh, yes! That was a good roll. I think Jess got a three because I gained one goal. I think she lost the gold. Oh, did I lose the loser gold? Oh. I don't think so, because I got it. Oh, you pinched it. <gasps> oh, that's oh, one of the did. pirate abilities. Ah. So, let's see, where is it? Whenever another character gambles and loses a gold at the tavern, it is given directly to you to add to your plunder. That's why it yeah. said at the top you had one to your gold, because it wasn't for us. It was for Steven. Right. Good move, pirate. So... Yeah, just borrow it from across the map. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm going to steal it back. I'll get it back later, maybe. Oh, I've got a ring! Now oh, that's a good one. That's good bling. Yeah, that's one the objects you, I would aim for. You've got to admit that's good bling, that it one. Is. Yeah. So another uh, mechanic in the game is alignment. So we can be good, neutral, or evil. Depending on which alignment we are depends on what the outcome of certain spaces and certain strangers and certain events and how that affects us. So you were just at the chapel uh, as a good uh, character because I think you went to the village, rolled a four, became good, and then you went to the chapel as a good character. Had you lost any lives, you would have got to uh, replenish all lives for free. It wouldn't have cost you anything. Um, Stephen, I think you need to roll for the Reaper. You guys have got a one. <laughs> <laughs> the Reaper is coming to get us. So the easiest way to... Bad idea. If you roll a six on the Reaper... That is a good thing because then you get to choose to increase your stats or teleport to any space in the region. But that is a one in six outcome, with one of the outcomes being instant death. <gasps> I've got a dragon! I did not want that. You'll be fine, you have a lance. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and a ring. The, the Holy Lance favours uh, dragons. Add three to your strength during oh, battle yeah. against dragons. Good point. So we've got a natural strength of four. We've right. got our Holy Lance, which is plus three. Yeah. Uh, so it's seven versus eight. Okay, come on, dice. No. Yeesh, not, not great. I've got some fate. Oh. So currently it's a standoff, which means nothing really happens, wrong. but we've got five of the purple numbers in the top left, which is fate. No! <laughs> <laughs> which normally would allow you to reroll uh, the I'm dice dead. once per action. Pardon? Ah, uh, uh, Scott, we can't hear you. Steve, Stephen, we can't hear you on our stream. That's I'll turn you up. I'll turn you up. Oh. Sorry, guys, we've no missed. We've missed Scott all this time. <laughs> the pirate has been silent. Right, so... And I lost apparently, to the Apparently been heard, just quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're taking oh. too long, sir. So. Oh, dear. I was doing so well. <laughs> I was doing so well. Ooh. That's my phone. I thought that was the iPad ringing. No, no the iPad's not ringing. It's my phone. I just have to ignore it. It's, it's, it's live streaming. Do they not know? I can't talk on the phone. I'll catch them. Uh, 
Oh, we've got a blizzard. Did you just go for me then? Did I do what then? No. I thought you took my turn then. Nope. That's all right. What am I doing? Don't use that yet. Did I roll? Uh, no, roll? he's no, just drawn a blizzard. So uh, you can only move one space per uh, turn. Oh, okay. For three rounds. God. Right. Let's go to the woods. See what we can find in the woods. Oh, that's true. So we can. We should beat her. Should beat her. We've got a two point advantage. I've got my ring. Oof. Not Oof. the best roll. Oh dear. Oh dear. You can't win a fight. I can't. I'm gonna. Should I, I'm gonna re-roll. I, it's a one in six yeah. chance of it being it's worse. Another one. I'm gonna re-roll. Yes. Hey. I conquered. Finally. <laughs> Right, so we'll take her as a two-point trophy now. So if we can get another five, we can increase our craft or strength. Because we're the genie, we can increase our craft or strength by one. So to get from the outer region to the middle region, usually you have to pass through the sentinel, which is the uh, kind of the big intimidating thing on the bridge at the bottom of the screen, and he's got a strength of nine. So you want to be aiming to have your strength around eight or nine. I always think the Sentinel looks a bit like a circus performer on stilts. You know, one of those statues that you see in the market. Uh, oh, a little bit. Yeah. How do we... I zoom we... in there. There we go. Do you not think? Oh, he's a bit blurred because he's on the edge of his image. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Looks like it's on mm -hmm. stilts. From afar, maybe not close up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to? Oh, better roll, better roll. It's not my turn, am I? Yeah, it's your turn. You're moving. Oh, one moving space. one space, aren't I? So you can take right. the dragon on. Well, I'm going to take the dragon on again. I, it's, there you go. No, it. there's. Yeah. What's the? the worst that can happen? Exactly. <laughs> <Beat me to laughs> <it>. Exactly. <laughs> Let's make it right. I'm going to play the Holy Lands to give me plus three on my dragon. Right, this time, Dice, come on. You oh, no. Us. That's, that's... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Should probably seek out some health now. That's put it politely, isn't it? Deary me. These darn dragons. Oh, yes, I need some health. So, as a neutral character, we probably want to aim for the city in the top left, or the village in the bottom right. Because one has a doctor and the other has a healer, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead for the city. But we do need gold as well. Uh, as we're lacking Oh, there. a hobgoblin. Come on. Let's defeat That's this hobgoblin. That's easy. Yeah. One. Let's go for the sword this time. Right, beat him easy. I'm bound to get a one. Oh, four, it's not bad, not bad. Nine. Yes! Never mind. Four, hallelujah. Right. So that's a nice, easy win. So we're starting to get the trophies in now. I love that, if I had something to fight, that'd be nice. <laughs> Someone's asking if we up updated it recently. Yeah, we I did, think didn't we? Uh, since the release mm. of the Firelands expansion, which came out, I think at the start of February. Yeah, February. Was it February? Beginning of February, Firelands uh, came out. Yeah. We've done four patches just to try and keep track of the bugs that are in the game and uh, keep on top of that, make sure the game's running as smoothly as it possibly can do. And the last one came out on the 27th of last month, so about two weeks ago now. Hmm. Three. Oh. It, it's not too bad because the additional craft that we've got at the moment is because of the ring. So we can't lose a craft. Okay. Whenever it says lose a stat, lose a craft, or lose a, a strength point, you can't fall below the natural stats of your character. So as you've got a boost to your strength, you could lose that uh, boost. But our boost comes from an item. So it's not ours. Right. Okay. If, we, if we lose the ring, we'll lose the boost as well. Right. Right then. I could have left the healer there, but at the same time, that would have benefited you. <laughs> yeah, I need some gold, don't I? Now then. Well, I am neutral, aren't I? 
Yes. So, but I haven't got any gold. No. I need some gold. You do. So I could maybe go and gamble in a tavern, but then if I win gold, the pirate pinches it, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> If, so, you, if you beat the Miser Dragon, so if we aim for the top right so we can stay around the Miser Dragon, when the Miser Dragon is defeated, you roll a dice and you get gold for the number that you roll. Oh, okay. I'll probably get a one, but yeah. <laughs> if you defeat right. it to begin with. Yeah. Uh, I've gambled. I've, I've won you some gold, oh pirate. Have my oh. gold. Hey, it's uh, only I, if you I, lose. I, I only get the gold if you lose it. Oh, I, I almost lost last time then. I've yes. got gold. Hey. Yay! <laughs> we can get one life back if we can land somewhere that heals us. Yeah. How come, how come Steven knows this game better than me? <laughs> how come? I, I know, I've played this <laughs> loads. I've never played the genie though. Actually, I don't often play the pirate. Maybe I need to steal the pirate's talisman. Don't do it. <laughs> try. We'll probably end up losing our like, ring to him. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Right. Where am I going? I'm going to go back round here. I've got some gold. Potion of strength. That's not bad. Oh, that's good. So that'll increase our strength by two until the end of our turn. That's good. So we can only use that once. So I'm going to use that to attack the dragon. That's a good shout. Yeah. Just need to land on With him my now. Lands. Yeah. Hmm. Unless the pirate beats me to it. Dragon. Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're even with the shadow and uh, you've got yeah. a three point disadvantage for the dragon yep. oh good roll good roll it's an easy, easy win easy win for the pirate easy easy and because you rolled the one we move for the reaper yep it's going to move him a little bit closer for time. it's coming closer it's coming closer right Oh, just missed. I'm gonna go back to the tavern. Do a bit more gambling. Huh? So if we oh, click on the I button, sorry. that tells us what what we got. What's happening? Oh, we got. To, oh yeah, let's fight a farmer. <laughs> yes, come on. I'm gonna fight a farmer with my sword. Now this farmer is a very special farmer. Sp special is the right word. Yeah. You? Because um, he is um, Talisman, is John New from Talisman Island. That we based him on. So uh, there is a fan site called Talisman Island, which has pretty much become the comprehensive, non official access to information point on yeah. the web. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. And it, it's just. He knows everything about yeah. Talisman. If, if there's something mm. Talisman, Talisman Island has the information on it. And we did the art for the farmer based on the owner, the runner, the based creator? John, who owns Talisman Island. Yeah. Our very good friend. <laughs> who normally watches us, he's not here today. Oh, he comes sometimes, uh, moves, moves. Um, oh, we've got to do a high cue. A high cue? Right. I need, I need pen and paper to okay. figure this out. I'm going to the woods while you do a high cue. Alright, so for our chat, we've got a bot called Revlo, which Ooh, awards rage. gold for viewing. So for every minute you view, you get five gold, and once you hit certain numbers or figures, you can spend that gold on certain things. Someone's just spent a thousand gold for do a high cue. Ha ha ha! Go on then, Gareth, I'm playing the game, oh. yeah. IA3G, if you give me a subject matter, I, I will then come up with a haiku based on whatever you want. Although this is a family friendly stream. <laughs> Good that you mentioned that. I will keep my mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to trade for some strength. We do have a swear jar for staff members that fail on that point. We do. We do. Although it has brought up some interesting conversations on which words are actually classed as swear words. <laughs> that sounds a conversation I have with my eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, those can live in the chapel. That's right. fine. Yeah, leave them in the chapel. 
We don't want to go there. Although I've got some. Oh, it's my turn. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking, Bex. It's my turn. Right, what did I get? Three. Ooh, I do want to get this dragon. Um, I'm going to go there, behind the Reaper, and hopefully he won't see me. A leper. <laughs> so IA3G has asked for the for the haiku to be based on the, the reaper. Reap. Oh, the reaper, that's a good idea. Oh, roll dice. No, what am I doing? Three. Huh? Oh, so you're rolling again to move him. Uh, okay. Oh, right, yes. I'm glad you can read quicker than I can. <laughs> Trampest. Right. Someone's asked for steam keys. Must we use the gold earned here? Well. We, we can set it up that way. We could. Did do you, you want to do that? I think that's a good idea. Right. Oh, we uh, could do a couple, a couple that you could earn through Revlobot. Uh, and then we could do a couple just based on random high cute no way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's my turn. We were going to do some little questions as well. People who are active in the chat, um, we might do a few questions and first one to get it, answer the right answer, wins a steam key. Not bad choice. Yeah. Right. Right, okay, I'm in the... Why did I go to the cracks? Two, lose my next turn. Oh, I'll stick with that one. It could be worse. I know, I was just thinking that. It <laughs> could have been a lot worse. Done it. You've done it? Yeah. Okay. You know what a haiku is? Yeah, yeah. A, a haiku is yeah. a Japanese poem that uh, follows the si syllabic... Syllabic? Syllabic? Syllabic. A syllabic? Five, sure. seven, five rule. So you have to have a line that is five syllables, a line that is seven, and then a final line which is five. So, my haiku goes the following. Oh, are you ready? Go on then, uh, we're, we can't wait for this one, Gareth. <laughs> I, I think it's going to play. So my haiku is, Yeah. To all that fear him, seasons don't fear the reaper. <laughs> Just don't roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, we should tweet that. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Anyone do any better? Come wins a steam key. How about that? It's a blue oyster cult. Sorry? So It's what? Blue oyster cult. Blue, blue oyster cult, you've lost me there. Don't fear the reaper. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on, baby, don't fear the reaper. Yeah. The, the season don't fear the reaper. It's a line from the song. Right, okay. I'm dead clever. I thought it was I good. I thought it was all right. Yeah. Oh, no, I've got an ogre now. Got an ogre to, 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 to fight. Right. I'm going to do the Holy Lance because we need to practice with this one. Right. Come on now, dice. Oh, yes. There you go. Woohoo. Shame it's not the dragon. I know, but the ogre is pretty good. We should be able to trade in trophies for a point now. Yeah. I'm trying. Oh, I traded in last time. Oh, did you? I missed yeah, that. I, yeah. I was too busy working on my haiku. Yeah. All right, so let's try and get this giveaway. Go on, we'll get a giveaway going. So, name of giveaway. Three steam keys. Four talisman. Uh, so if you watch for five minutes, you'll get 25 gold, and that's the cost of entry. Your first ticket for it will be free. Go. Simple, oh, what's that? Oh, okay. That's a really simple one. So for 25 gold, you can purchase a ticket, and then whenever we finish playing, we'll draw a winner, or two, or three, or depending on how many people enter yeah 
I think the last time we did this, we had like, six people enter and one of them bought like 100 tickets. Really? Yeah, because they, they... Did they win? <laughs> they may have. <laughs> Just maybe. Yeah. Because we did streams throughout the weekend and they watched every minute of every single one of them. So they just had loads of gold. Oh, I've got a right. Oh, continue, but I've got my ring, haven't I? Four. Uh. Come on, dice. Four. Come on, get a one. Not bad. Get a one, Ray. Oh. oh. So at best, we can reroll for a six and get a standoff. Uh, it's not going to happen, is it? It's not, but that puts us down to one life. Oh, good point. Let's so try it, it. I would say, mm, we've got three fates. Yeah, let's give it a go. Yay! Hey. <laughs> hey, the dice have yeah. worked for me. Dev hacks. Three. <laughs> oh, continue. Continue. I was just gonna. I was just, just basking in my glory there. <laughs> you have every right to be. <laughs> oh, we rolled a one. So oh, we're on. Right, Reaper. Reaper. Where are you, pirate? Oh, you're miles away. Six. Oh, he's getting closer. You could put him on us. What? It's a gamble. If you roll a six yeah, on got... the Reaper chart, you can replenish all your lives. I've only got... Well, yeah, it's gambling. I'm not into gambling. Shouldn't be playing Talisman, should I? <laughs> all right, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I've delivered on my haiku over here. One spell good character... Do we need to put the link in the chat for this high cue? No, not the high cue. I'm just going to keep borrowing all those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my turn. My turn, my turn. Five. <sighs> right. Where to go? I'm going to go here. See if we can get this dragon next time. <laughs> I'm probably dying. I need to get alive, don't I? A tomb. Oh, oh my Six goodness. Six for a talisman. Yeah. Oh, and three for gold. Okay. So it's five we want. We want a five. So then we can use the gold to get lives back. Yeah. A one. That's or not a, no. A one. <laughs> We've still got two fates. Okay. Reroll, reroll. Three. Yeah, worst That's things have place. happened. Not too bad. Not too bad. Five. Now we roll a five. A guaranteed victory. Okay. Someone suggested uh, that we use the gold, or people can use the gold to get a free talisman character. Right, well. Make that one of the top tier prizes, yeah. possibly. Yeah, we think could. About it. Yeah, free talisman character. Sounds a good, like a good idea. Character. Are we going to specify which character? Maybe we should do the pirate or the genie, because we're playing those today. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Oh, is the pirate a free character anyway? I think he's one of the free I ones. I think Pirate's free character anyway. So you can get him for free anyway. So maybe maybe not. Earn gold for a free character. <laughs> oh, serpent. Perfect. Can you kill a serpent? Easy. Easy. Someone, Easy fight. Someone's given us their haiku, which is careful when you roll. Stay in the middle region. Region? I'll put region as one syllable then. You should not have left. <laughs> That's a dig at me, isn't it? That's a dig at the genie. Maybe. I, yeah. like I don't like digs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Ooh. cave. The Two dragon. dragons. dragons. <laughs> <laughs> but this one doesn't give gold. It does. Does it? That's the miser dragon. Look. Yeah, the, the, yeah but the dragon doesn't. Oh, sorry. If you defeat the mice, hey, Yay! gold. gold. Right, now we need to find a healer. Okay. And the healer's in the been city. On the board, but I kind of borrowed him. Yeah. <laughs> so the healer's in the city, isn't he? The doctor is. The healer is in the village. So we can go to the doctor or the village. Yeah. Or the chapel has a neutral character. You can go to the uh, chapel, but I'll have to attack the ghost first. We've got ten rounds remaining. This is that all? Been incredibly quick. Jeez. Yeah, I did put 35 rounds on. 
normally it, uh, when we play with four people it takes forever to get through 35 rounds but I suppose when it's just two people clicking away and then, going around the board shall I go back for the dragon do it what do you think shall well, I you've got one spare life yeah come on Please. Wow. Yeah. You, use your potion of strength. <laughs> oh yeah, use my potion of strength as well. Use object. Kenji, okay. we started with random characters, so the troll wasn't offered uh, to us. Oh look, no, it says you cannot cast spells. Yeah. Is that the potion counted as a spell? No. no. Oh, the on amulet's the on the space. Have the Sorry. I thought I did have the amulet. <laughs> we did, we dropped it when we lost to the dragon. Ah, uh, right, okay. I'm glad some people are taking notice of this game, because I don't think <laughs> I am. <laughs> Ooh! There you go. Yeah. Now he gets one when, you, when you've already used your potion. I know, after he's killed me about three times already. Right, so, because we beat the Miser Dragon, we now roll a dice and we get gold for the number of, that is on the dice. Right. So a six would be nice and helpful. Five. five. Not bad. Oh, I'm rich all of a sudden. So we continue? Oh, yeah, go on. Just admiring all my gold. I'm so marbling. There is an expansion which... Uh, some expansions in the game increase the number of cards you can draw from on the main deck. They also bring in new endings, new characters, and new mechanics. But some of them are uh, physical expansions with physical in a digital <laughs> environment, but they <laughs> occupy the spaces in the top left of the board, the top right of the board, and the bottom left and bottom right. So in the top left of the board, we have the city oh. district, which comes with loads of shops. So that gives proper value to gold then, because you can then go in mm. to various shops and buy spells, buy items, buy followers, and all sorts of good things. Mm. Oh, great. One. Oh, no! What? You're poisoned! <laughs> and you've got no fate left. You can't re-roll. The pirate. I could have left it on the two. That was stupid of me. Oh, did you re-roll it? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I, I, got, I got a two and I was like, that poisons me. I clicked it. I was like, no, it doesn't poison me. <laughs> that does. I, I thought it was a bold move, going for the six. Oh. Right. Nah, my, my mind just blanks. It, I find that in this game sometimes you're trying to read stuff or, and talk at the same time, which I think is my downfall. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of a thing in Talisman Island. Oh, is John? Has he arrived? Talk yeah, new chat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hi, John. Uh, oh, I've just Hi. got killed. <laughs> I've just got killed. Has Talisman Island arrived? He has. He has? He's in the dark blue. John, hello. I'm waving. I'm waving, even if Gareth isn't. And oh. Stephen's definitely waving. Aren't you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> One is what you need for him to continue fear. Just do not be near. I think that one is took a bit too much. Yeah. View? I think someone's put a bit too much effort into rhyming there. Oh. I like that. That's a good one. That's what I need, a bit of healing. I'll say, do you need pirates in those sort of places? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sounds greedy, but are you allowed to enter for a second code? Uh, we've only got the one giveaway. We can draw multiple winners of that, Andy. Uh but you can get more tickets to ensure you uh, a better chance uh, winning by you. Hold on, words good. I more. <laughs> oh God! Uh, right, let's go again. Uh, the longer you watch, the more gold you get. The more gold you get, the more tickets you can buy, and we'll draw a number of winners at the end. There you go. Gareth sounds so pleased. Me, me and John are, are veterans of the event scenes. <laughs> uh, John did a number of events with us last year, so there's lots of late nights of surviving. Yeah, uh, talking um, to lots of people 
about our game and yeah. having fun. Because so. that's what we do here at No My Games. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> <gasps> you got another talisman. Yeah, I'm just, just borrowing it for safekeeping. Yeah, don't be greedy now. You might want to, you know, lend me one. With it, look. Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh! <for a> price. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. I'm going to get healed. Come on. Oh, I was going to try and get in there in time. Yeah. <laughs> now you're being mean. <laughs> so, it, it, as it's looking like we're going to have a sudden death ending, because we're burning through this game, uh, I, I think hoarding all the talismans is a good move. Because you get a point towards the sudden death ending for each item that you have. Do you? You do. Uh, Six is a good outcome there. Yeah, it could be, could be better, could be worse. Five. Oh, she's gonna take the reaper on. Yeah, go for him. Give him a hug. Can you right? Can you land on the reaper? I can yep. never. Yeah, you can. Right. It's just when he lands on you that he becomes a problem. I will horse. That would have been very helpful earlier on. Yeah. <laughs> so that adds your craft value, which is your starting craft, to your strength during battle. So as the genie has three craft, you would have had a plus three That's for every battle. Mm. Come here, it's it's got to be less than five rounds now. I'd say like three. So we'll go. I'm gonna have to see what I've got. Ooh, what have you got? Ah, oh. loads of stuff. Steven, you've got loads of stuff. We do have loads of gold though, which right. is helpful. Right. Okay. Rounds remaining five. five. Oh, so I'm winning at 14 at the moment. Yep, that uh, roll on the Miser Dragon really helped. Okay, we got there eventually. Right, I'm gonna go to the woods. See what I can find. Oh, gold, yay. Death invokes much fear. What will bring upon his wrath? It's snowing on Mount Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. So do you want to do a, um, for, you know, for those people that might not have um, be uh, watching for very long, do you want to do a, a, a little question that people can reply to in the chat and the first person that replies wins a steam key? Would that right. work? Uh, yeah. Yeah? I, I'll just have to think because it'll have to be talisman based, won't it? Will it? It should be. Probably or fantasy <laughs> based or dragon pirate pirate or genie based themed. Oh. <laughs> I, the kind, the pub quizzer in me. You go. You can is, search. Is determined on to come up with a good question. Go on. You can search a question. Just don't tell anyone where you're googling. Because <laughs> the thought of it. Death invokes much fear. One will bring upon his wrath. Try not, try and not be near. I think mine was the best. Although right. I do like the Mount Fuji one. Right. Well, where am I gonna go? Four <laughs> Four rounds remaining. Three. Right. I'm gonna move away from this reaper. A mammoth, giant <laughs> mammoth. Okay, let's kill you, mammoth. It's just... difficult for you to lose that fight now. Yeah, although I don't think I agree with slaughtering mammoths. Yeah. No wonder they became ex extinct. When we killed them. Oh, five. Yeah, that, that, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's dead, isn't it? Tad. Just a little bit poor thing. Let's trade some more trophies. Now then, my best trade. I'm going to trade for strength. I'm going for strength in this game. Not that we've got many rounds left. All right, I've got a good question. Okay, I will listen. But everyone. I don't know the answer. I just know it's a good question. Well, to be fair, whoever gives the best answer will believe you. So. <laughs> well, let's go have a look. As it as it's Scott's turn. Where's, where's our stuff? 
Everyone's going to think we're playing with uh, two or more people because we keep calling <laughs> Stephen Scott, Stephen Scott. <laughs> Ooh, six, good roll. Ooh, depending where you want to go. Maybe not. You lose a life there. Oh, no, you don't lose a life oh. as a pirate, do you? Got it. Oh, genie, look, it's me. <laughs> you found there me. There is an achievement in the game for being the genie with the genie. Is there? Yep. Oh, okay. Could have done with that. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Right. The mummy's going to get you. Ooh, that's lucky. Easy, easy draw. Wasn't scared for a second. <laughs> <laughs> the mummy is dead. Right. So the question, it, obviously the prize for it is going to be a key for the base game of Talisman. So if you already own that, wait for someone else to give the answer to give other people a chance. But who created Talisman? Well, now there's a good question. Now then, should I travel here? And uh, John knew you're not allowed to answer this for obvious reasons. <laughs> Being knowing everything, um, I'm going to go to the to the chapel and Talisman. heal some lives. <laughs> Talisman was created by the creator of Talisman. It's not well, wrong. Well done, actually. Does that deserve a Steve key? It's <laughs> a good point. Oh, oh, how? Oh well. Games Workshop, in fact, bought the right to print uh, Talisman. I think in 1987. In 1983, it was created oh, and printed. Uh, I'm not sure it's printed, but it was created by someone. I'm going to bring the Reaper nearer to me. Give me more options. I think we then saw the second edition, which was the Games Workshop print in '87. Then we so have. Is, is gold more valuable than items carried? No, they both have a value of one. Okay. Yeah. It's a race to the finish. So if you can gain more stuff or force us to lose any stuff or. You can, if you land on us, you can fight us, and if you defeat us, you can take some of our stuff from us. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I can win that fight. With my dash rolls recently, you probably could. <laughs> we have a correct answer. Oh, hey, a talisman. So, so Another what? talisman. <laughs> I'm never going to get any. We've got a correct answer. We've got a yeah. winner, have we? Yes. So Stephen Bornheim has got his Google foo on. And given us the answer of Robert Harris, also known as Bob Harris, but he is the original creator of Talisman. So Steve, we or another Steve, Steve Bornheim, uh, we will send you a key through Twitch messaging, as that allows for that. Yeah. Huh. Um, Bob Harris is great. He's uh, he pauses on Twitter. I've never met him, but I know he's been here and done interviews. Yeah, yeah, he's great. He's good. It's good, to, good to have a chat with. Very interesting. Got lots of interesting facts, and always retweets us. So I like that. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to follow him, he's on Twitter. If you check out who we're following, you'll find him there. Anyway, we've got some interesting, exciting stuff coming up for Talisman Horus Heresy. Yes. We've got we a couple more characters on the way. Ooh. Which is quite exciting. Two more warlords, really, I should call them, not characters. Huh. More details to follow this week. So keep your eyes peeled on our Twitter and Facebook. Right. Where am I going? I'm going to go here. See if we can draw on that. See if we can find something. A wraith. Right. Is that right? Sure. Just following that leap around now. I am. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> the safest spot is under yeah. him. <laughs> Just hiding under his cloak as he walks by. Absolutely. No! That's not what I wanted. No. Can I at least have a virtual hug for getting it right? 
That was empty pyro note. Virtual hug. We can both do virtual hugs. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I, I don't really do physical hugs, <laughs> so I feel even more awkward giving a virtual hug. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was nice. You got your, your head into it then. It's a bit of snuggling. Yeah. Snuggling there, Gareth. Maybe you're going to do it. Yeah. Do it properly. <laughs> Maybe we should put that virtual hugs on our Revlo blot as winners. Oh, no. <laughs> the, the push-ups are enough. You don't like hugs, do you, go? No. no. Ooh, the gnome. I won the pixie. We'd been good earlier. Oh, that's good, yeah. Now, they'll give more points, won't they, followers? I think so. Mm. I would have thought so. <gasps> oh! Oh, I won! Just by one point! The genie conquers! It was that miser dragon that really... Uh, swung the difference. Yeah. Because when we defeated it, we got five extra gold for that. Oh. That, that is the quickest game of talisman ever. <laughs> I win. 40 minutes? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk about quick. I mean, do you have uh, any more spare time? Uh, yep. I mean, what we can do, now that we've kind of gone through the basics of talisman, what it is, and... Um, uh, what to expect from it we can add a few more expansions in yeah we can play a little yeah, expansion plan. maybe do yeah a few rounds what we if we do the same again with the larger variety of stuff in it it should take us a little bit longer to well hopefully it will yeah okay let's do that let's do that i just you know you didn't leave the my stats up long enough then you didn't sort of talk through <laughs> it i would basking I would. glory yeah i would I'm sure, Steve, Stephen, you're going to get your own back now. We uh, add uh, expansions. I'll try my best. <laughs> so which expansions? Let's do... Uh, I had a request today, actually, from our social media about adding the Firelands. So yep. can we put the Firelands in? Uh, the Firelands is our, it came out in February. Um, and that's quite a nice expansion because it turns the board, does lots of fire as the expansion is self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> and... and um, yeah. So the, the Fireland is basically uh, a difficulty setting for for want of a better way to explain it. Yeah. Because it has loads of things in it which are quite high powered, uh -huh. but they introduce things called a fire token, which is when they are on a space, if you land on that space, you lose a life, like guaranteed. Oh. And there are a variety of different uh, cards in the Fireland deck that add fire tokens to, uh, to spaces all over the board. So it, it can become a nightmare to navigate it. Right, you are currently host, is Scott. There, is, so there any, is there anything for removing them? Yes, uh, there are some characters that can uh, control objects or, well, not characters per se, but there are items, events, strangers, cards in the decks that when you draw them, does allow you to move move them or remove them. Uh, just just wanted to be sure before I go and be <laughs> like, I, I need to stand on this. Yeah. I, as your host, it's uh, you who determines what we play with. Oh no yeah. Get on. So if you unready because you can't alter anything once you're readied oh. up. Yep. There we go. All right. So we want uh, the firelands, and I would also say the blood moon. Oh, yeah, we'll get a werewolf chasing us. That's one of my favourites. Rather than a reaper. Uh, and we'll go for the Highland uh, as well. I was going to choose a Highland. I like the Highland. The Highland's one of the corner board expansions that's basically a kind of medium difficulty. So if you see the baseboard as an easy one, uh, Highland would be the next on there. So if you want to start kind of, uh, grinding and trying to defeat harder characters to get larger trophies or find bigger rewards, the Highland's the place to go for that. Mm -hmm. Skips. So and then keep on there, character selection, random characters on. Yep. So the ha the Firelands, from what I remember, and I'm sure John, you will be able to correct me if I'm wrong, but if it was the Ifrit, wasn't it? The Ifrit who originally forged the Crown of Command, who have returned to the land to bask it in fire. I didn't realise that was the <laughs> apparently uh, the story behind it. Yeah. Right, so do you ready up and start game? Yep, uh, Sunday always. Do we need to ready up? Or, uh, we or can't. Do you, it, 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 for Sunday? 
It, it, we keep sun death at 35 because there's a bit more in the game. It should take us a bit longer to kind of look at everything um, and get our heads around everything and make sure we're doing the right okay. thing. Do you want me to increase the time? Do you want me to increase the timeout tone as timeout time as well? No, or keep it, it thirty. We, we'll keep that at thirty. Yeah. Because right. I'm bound to miss. Sure. It's it, it goes against me to be fair. Because yes. I always miss a turn. I did I actually did quite well then. Yeah, you were fairly on point. Yeah. It, it was just the very start. Yeah. Normally I missed every other turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to ready up. My bad. So good. Alright, sure. Ooh. Oh, the Black Witch. Right. I'm, I'm not. The Priest isn't too bad. I've never played Goblin Shaman, but you go Priest, would you? Yeah, because he can add his craft to his strength, I think. Okay, let's view the character There's some card. combination of that. Begin with a spell. No. One to the score when rolling the dice when praying. Who am I thinking of? Doesn't sound brilliant, but... Let's go with him. I've never been a priest. <laughs> but I'm going to be a priest. I've been the wizard. I was with wizard once. I think I did quite well as the wizard, actually. Who am I? Th uh, monk. Uh, I'm getting confused with the monk. Well, that's not bad. So, the perk of the troll Scott is that he begins with six strength. He is an utter brute. He is a brute. He is a brute. So, and I'm going to fight only craft. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, and you're going to fight me then. So one of the perks of being the troll in the Fireland, or drawing Fireland cards, is that the majority of them are optional on whether you face them with strength or craft. <coughs> Rip those. So the reason why the invader has minus one to his modifier is because we're playing with the Blood Moon expansion that brings in a night and day mechanic. So during the daytime, your enemies get minus one. During nighttime, they get plus one. Oh, okay. So it, it's kind of like a, a, a shifting difficulty setting that can help or hurt you throughout the game. And one of the things with drawing the Ifrit invader is that he comes with a fire uh, fire token. So if oh, you so I, I will lose a life by you. You have already lost a life for ending your turn in the spa in a space that has a fire token in it. Oh, that's not a good start, is it? Come on, Ogre. Oh yeah, that's a good start. Mm. Oh, oh no. <laughs> See? <laughs> One of the things with uh, the way we handle the dice is that we randomize a string of tens of thousands of numbers at the start of a game, and each uh, string is different per game. So, but uh, well, well. it does mean you know what would have happened had you taken a different path. So we've got a spell called Psionic Blast, which is allows you to roll a dice and add that to the start uh, to your strength during combat. So had we used that spell, we would have rolled a six for the spell, and then the ogre rolled a six. So that would have been our roll, because we would have used our roll to roll for the spell. Right. So we would have had a plus 12 there. Oh, really? Yeah, because it because uh, it's loaded as a string, it brings the dice outcomes forward by one, if you use a spell. Oh, okay. Or if you use a fate that allows you to re-roll. Right. I'm going to go into the Highlands. Um, ah, okay. That's interesting. Dice mechanics. Digital yes. dice. <laughs> Immediately, an enemy that would have. Craft three. That's not too bad for us. It's not it... too bad. Destroy the spirit. Can don't... I just automatically destroy him? I, I'm sure if you destroy the spirit, you don't get to keep him as a trophy. Okay. Oh, Sonic Blast uses craft value. So I was wrong anyway. The, the theory of what I said was right. <laughs> oh, I'm going to re-roll. I want, I want to kill... Yes. There you go. Yes. I want to kill this guy. So we've got the benefit of starting with high fate like we did in the last game. Yeah. 
Whereas I have one. Yes. Yeah. But then you have the strength, so in theory you shouldn't need it. No, Being we, the brute that you are. <laughs> we, oh, we no! Have... It's coming to get me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh, no, you really are coming to get me. No. <gasps> That's mean. You just, you, what am I doing? Oh, what? It's too late. The, we had a spell. So oh, did I? Oh, I still have a spell. I always miss my spells. That's um, ooh, that's a good one. He spent his one fate. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. worth it. It was worth it. It beat me. <laughs> oh, I can re-roll as well. I don't think I'm going to get re-roll higher than six. I don't think six. you get higher than six, no. No, she'll try. No. <laughs> I don't worry. It's a seven. <laughs> How did I get? Oh no, you got a good. I was getting excited though. I was like, how did I get a bag of gold? <laughs> Kenji, we have uh, something that we use called an auto soap. So that is where we play the AI versus the AI. And we that allows us to test the crashes, blocks, and loops with the AI because we hmm. can play them real, like super fast. A four hour game of Talisman can take the AI 10 minutes. And we have multiple uh, soaks running on one machine. So if we leave an auto soak running over a weekend, we get tens of thousands of games completed with just the AIs. Any that encounter loops or blocks or crashes, get those saves get dumped into a folder, which allow us to go through and clean those folders up so to remove crashes. Now, part of the perk of using an auto soaker is that it provides a certain amount of data and one of those data points is which characters win and time after time the troll is the character that comes out on top with the ai so if you've got a six-way fight between uh different characters the ai is most likely to win if it chooses the troll oh and as we've drawn an event, we can see that it's now night time. And as we've That's drawn another good. event, I think it's about to go daytime. I've got Highland Raiders. That's not good. Do we have any followers? Yes. I had a really good follower. If we tap. Oh, we've got the friendly giant, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. And a mountain goat. I think I might be all right with a mountain goat. Right. Bye bye, follower. Three. Oh, come on, mountain goat. Roll a one. Oof. Oh. <gasps> no. No, stay away. Shall, shall I risk it? Uh, you need a five for a standoff, a six for a win. <laughs> yeah, go on, let's risk it. Ooh, a one, no. nearly. <laughs> close, but no cigar. <laughs> one plus five, if you know it's close. Yeah. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I just lost another life. Down to two now. Can I get many lives to get in the Highlands? No. I'm going to have to come out, aren't I, I think? There's a healing potion in there, and on the far left we've got the waterfall. If we get to there, we can get a guaranteed plus one to life. Can you? Yes. I might be dead by then, though. Yes. <laughs> Too risky. There's also a variety of wells and streams and rivers mm. and fountains that appear in the Highland. If we draw them, they give you the option of taking plus one craft fate, strength, or plus one life. Okay. I'll make my way out then, I think, and well, hope I get one of those. As we can see in the bottom right, we've got 137 cards in the Highland deck. Yeah, so, so the odds. Hoping for the best, then. The odds are not with me, are they? On the no. Odds? If we can get to the chapel, because we're a good character, that will allow us to replenish all our health. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, is it? How's the dragon expansion coming along? Ah, how is the dragon expansion coming along? It's coming along quite well, actually. Where I know uh, the uh, coders are quite pleased because uh, it is one of the more difficult expansions, which is why it's taken us a bit longer um, to release it. It's not been one of the earlier expansion releases. As we tend to look at um, choosing expansions that we release based on difficulty level, uh, with the lot to do with the coding. <gasps> the werewolves just landed on me. <laughs> ah! Oh, uh, let's talk werewolf for now. Right, come on. 
Two. Three. Oh no! Oh no! So one of the other mechanics that comes at night time Could is re -roll. normally with the werewolf. I can't leave it lose a life. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. Normally with the werewolf, uh, you have to roll the exact number to land on someone. During night time, his roll stops short if he meets a character. So if someone's two spaces away and you roll a six with the werewolf, he must stop on that character. He can't move past them. I can't win. You can't know. I'm going to roll the dice anyway. I've got a six. And I rolled as well. <laughs> <laughs> and he got yeah. six as well. <laughs> I suppose the benefit of that is the two roll is lose a life and roll again on this chart. Although saying that, had you rolled again, you would have got the six. Because that's what your first yeah. dice was during the fight. Yeah. Which would have allowed us to replenish our health. Uh, Hindsight's a wonderful thing. It is. That's oh, it's my turn. I'm gonna look at that every time. Then I'm just gonna be like, I could, I could have survived that if that hadn't happened. I know it. <laughs> it would, it would. Right, where, where are we going? I'm gonna go here. So I've got my right. follower that lets me move two places. It, it's one of the ooh, oh. This is good. <gasps> just don't roll under four. Okay. We've got two fate. I've got fate. I've got fate. Okay. So we want, ideally, we want a six. Keep, keep everything crossed. Two. Not the best. No. no. I've got two we, dice we to leave. We can't take two or three. Six. Hey. Woo. Lives to fight another day. Finally. Back from the brink. Oof. I can go back into the highlands now. <laughs> <laughs> can immerse myself. What would be your tactic here, Gareth? Uh, Highlands. Would it? Yeah. Oh, an ogre. That'd be a good one if you can kill him. Ah, uh, hey. well done. Well done. There we go. Okay. Why have I got two dice now? I've not been watching. Oh, you're oh still you've got in the Highlands. You've got the Trailblazer, which is the follower that allows you to roll two <sighs> dice in the Highlands and pick your result. Right. Oh, I'm going to go there. Cyclops. A good tactic is not losing a life. I, I would always aim for that tactic as well. Okay. Try to implement it whilst playing. I yeah, just go with one life for the entire game. It's risky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hardcore mode. It's more exciting. The rock face. Oh, I've not come across a rock face before. Uh, okay. So the rock face will remain. Sorry. It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Was it too quick for you? It kills one of your followers at random. Well, I'll do a, uh, we, we've see. got the trailblazer and we've got the friendly giant? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Sorry. Oh, it's killed me, Trailblazer. So the score is less. Yeah, the, fr the friendly giant. Yeah, the friendly giant's in the space between uh, you and the werewolf at the moment. Oh, I've already lost him. Oh, oh, he yeah. was. Yeah. Forgot about that. Got no followers. <laughs> so, rock face. If the score is less than the combined total of your strength and craft, you climb the rock face successfully. If the score is equal to or higher, you must either lose one life. <laughs> Or discard one follower. <laughs> ah! So our combined uh, strength and craft is six. So if we re-roll, we'd have to roll a oh, one. one. Okay, I think I might just continue and face the consequences. Well, we don't have any followers to give up, so... <laughs> exactly. We, we've already gave them up. <laughs> I'll just lose a life. Um, sure. So it, it, the way the dice work in the game, people often feel like uh, the AI is cheating because they can have certain outcomes that favor them. Or it, it feels like they're favoring them anyway. Like if you go to fight them, you roll a one, they roll a six, and it feels like that's happening every time. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing that if you re-roll, or you, if you had re-rolled, you would have taken the AI's dice from them. Uh, it, it's kind of like, Hindsight is a wonderful, beautiful thing. 
because you can't look at it and go, oh, I, I could have had that. Or you can look back and kind of go, I managed to dodge this massive catastrophe. If you if you like face a, an enemy called the Basilisk, if he rolls, he gets two dice and he gets to choose the highest as his attack attacking dice. If he rolls doubles, you instantly die. It's like, uh, that's it. There's no kind of like dodging what the enemy has rolled. Yeah. I think the only exception to that is there's an item that comes with the Fireland expansion that allows you to re-roll for the enemy. But other than that, if the Basilisk rolls double ones, double twos, so on and so forth, you're out. You're dead. Really? That's it. Completely dead? Yeah. All lives killed? All lives taken from you. If you've got Bloodbath on, you're out of the game. If not, you get a character reset. Yeah, and lose all your followers and your gold. And... Oh, okay. Not nice then, that one. No. No. Well, I... Oh, what have we got here? Book of the Dead. Zombie Lord likes that one. Ooh, they're burning. The cards <laughs> are burning. That was close. It's either that or I get a Firelands token. Fair <laughs> enough. Right, where should I go? Canyon. I'm going to go to the canyon. Get three cards. I'm not very strong at the moment. That's the trouble with my character. Got a tumbling boulder. Crushed to death, possibly. So Cheshire Cat Girl said Pharaoh's Crown. That is the item that allows you to reroll for the enemy. Oh, okay. It's a strong item to have. Pharaoh's Crown. I, I love the icon for the tumbling boulder. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> it's good, isn't it? How many has it collected? I collected one soldier and it's wake. Oh, right, okay, it's not That's bad. Two. Not oh, bad no, one's that. running, isn't he? Yeah, one's running and one's already been squished. Here he is. So just don't roll a one. Right, okay, come on. Six. Easy uh, enough, then. Yeah, isn't it? Can't kill the werewolf, can I? No. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, we got rid of that card, though. Yep. So the the boulder will destroy all cards in its path, oh. and if there are enemy any uh, opponents also in the boulder's path, they lose a life. Right. Okay. Oh yes, I'll That's have this. Cool. One to my left. <laughs> it is. Okay. All oh, right. Where are we going? So yes, yeah, so the Dragon expansion, as I was, um, got interrupted by my, I think I was being murdered on the board, wasn't I? Um, so yes, yeah, so the Dragon expansion is is coming along nicely, and if you follow us on social media, uh, we'll do regular updates, mm. and Thursdays as well. Join us here on a Thursday every fri at five o'clock every Thursday. We try and keep you up to date with uh, what's going on. Um, but yeah, the next thing that we've got coming out is uh, two new warlords for Talisman the Horus Heresy, which is going to be announced early next week as to a release date. Ooh, craft for Windlasher. So it's not cast, it will remain here. Right, come on. Hi. Ooh, five, not bad. Six? It's got the minus yeah, one though because it's though. daytime. Oh! Okay, I didn't notice that. Daytime saving the day. Yeah, <laughs> daylight savings. <laughs> Together. Ah. Together. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good spell. Cast on any character with at least one craft counter at the start of his turn. The character uh, yeah. must lose a craft. It's normally a good spell. Oh, <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, three. Try these ones. Troll's not particularly known for being a crafty character. So I can't, I can't, oops, I can't cast it on the troll because he's only got one craft. Is that right? <laughs> Cheshire, Cat, maybe. Cheshire Cat Girl says, nothing to siphon, troll has no brains. <laughs> Why can't I go that way? I'm confused now. Oh, I'm moving the werewolf. <gasps> I really should take more notice, shouldn't I? Getting too excited. Come on, werewolf. 
So when you've got the Reaper and the Werewolf on, you'd roll for them both after rolling a one. How the Werewolf was a six. You roll the Werewolf when you hit a six, don't you? No. Is it a one as well? Yep. Alright. Red Riding Hood. <gasps> Go on then. Okay. Gareth, you can do a high cue about Red Riding Hood. Oh, is someone quite. Oh, right. No, I just uh, made it up. Okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you've got you've got enough Red Bull Gold to put in for it, I think. Yeah, we could buy it ourselves. Right. MT Pyronaut says Trolls not crafty. I find them to be very creative when I meet them on the internet. A, way, a good number of them in our Steam forums. Opal. Right. Well, finally got some jewels. Last time I was in the ha Highland, I just got loads of jewels. So the first one I've got here. Make him do push-ups. Yay. Oh, it's better than dancing, Gareth. It is. I, yeah. I'd rather do push-ups than yeah. dancing. But in my old age, push-ups are harder. I think dancing is <laughs> more entertaining. So um, I think it was was it when we were oh si when we were streaming with si Cybernova, Stephen. We uh, <laughs> me and Cybernova ganged up and Gareth and made him do lots of dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Some surprises ever streamed with me since actually. <laughs> <laughs> right, continue. I got a one. No way across. You, you hear that chat? You know you know what you have to do now. <laughs> <laughs> There's currently no uh, Revlo reward for dancing, fortunately. Boo. <laughs> Do you know why that is? Because Gareth manages what the rewards are. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, he's purposefully not put that in. <laughs> End turn. Where am I going here? Oh, that's an easy one. All right. Well, let me save one. that. Yeah, equal. Oh, they've got a modifier of one. Oh, yeah. Very good. No problem. The spectre is vanished, vanquished. Good turn. I'm still stuck. Oh, four. Five. Oh. Five. Aha, I've got past. I've gone quiet because I'm writing my haiku. I thought you were doing your accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Never known it's so peaceful. Snow Goblin, ooh, I think I might be able to defeat him, hopefully. Wasn't the Highlands supposed to be full of like really strong enemies? No, it's medium level. Oh. It's the dungeon that goes in the top right, that is the, uh, the one that's full of tough enemies. It's been a bunch of strength ones. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the draw. I wish I went in there. I know, well that's why I had quite a lot of luck last time in the Highland, but last time I was in the Highland, I just got loads of gems. This time I'm getting lots of weak monsters, which is fine. But yeah, the dungeon, whew. That is a nasty place. I've got my haiku. You got it? For a little red riding hood. All right, go on then. Small girl oh, lost in woods. She's looking for the exit. Yeah. A wolf eats her ground. <laughs> Poor Gran. That's what happens. Yeah. I shall be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because who comes to save her and opens, cuts open the wolf's tummy and releases the Gran? In the uh, original, <gasps> it, it was was it a Hans Christian and someone? Oh, I, I think so. Mm. No, no, it was no, Brothers Grimm. Brothers Grimm. That was the one. Oh, thank goodness for that! I'm just get killed by a frost giant, but we've got a pool of fortitude here. Oh, another opal. Encounter. Right. Use your spell. 
Oh, mes spells, mes spells. Okay, cast spell. Yeah. So add your starting craft, which I think ours was four, to your strength until the end of the battle. Right. So that made things a bit easier for us. Oh, that is a little bit. Not shabby. Unless you roll a one. Yeah. Because like I just accidentally re-rolled and lost me the fate. Oh, five. Five. Come on, Frost. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just not fair. What are cry. the chances of that? <gasps> I'm gonna <laughs> cry. Oh dear. Skipping in the woods, a big wolf is lurking by, coming for her ground. It's a bit more sinister. Oh, I like one. that one. Yeah, it's quite sinister. See, nursery rhymes. You know, the old-fashioned nursery rhymes always have been really quite sinister and quite violent, haven't Should they? We, the nursery tales, not the rhymes. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah, the nursery the, tales. The yeah. uh, Brothers Grimm ones, the kind of the old Snow White ones, uh, we can't kind of say on our stream if we're family-friendly because no. they're all horribly brutal. Yeah. Don't want to go there. Don't want to go there. Oh, we might go there. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Oh, could I go there? Ooh, three cards. I'll go there. And they're all gonna attack you. Probably, <laughs> yeah. A volcano? Okay. This is an, this another one, isn't it? One of the running jokes we've got. Uh, Ooh, chunky. We've won the games that we're working on, which is fighting fantasy. Did you ever read the Choose Your Own Adventure books when you were young, Steve? I read some, yes. Yeah, as we've been developing it, uh, it's kind of like a constant theme is getting attacked by inanimate objects. <laughs> it's just like y you open a chest, the chest attacks you. You walk into a house, the door attacks you. <laughs> <laughs> just whenever uh, the kind of guy's doing the production design for it, it's kind of like, what do you think? What's your opinion on this? I was like, does it attack me? Is that what is that what is happening here? What if we had a sword in a, in a stone and you had to pull it out? Does the sword attack you? Or is it the stone that attacks you? I rolled a one in the pool of fortitude. Are you rolling to see the... out? Oh, it's the volcanic eruption, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay. So, with the volcanic eruption, you roll to see what happens to everything in the region you're in. Right, okay. I can't remember the outcomes, but... On a certain roll, they get destroyed. On a certain roll, they stay there. I think there's one, two, or three. Yeah. Could be wrong. We'll soon find out, won't we, when <laughs> everything disappears or not. I think it's one, two, three, they're destroyed. Four, five, six, they're safe. I don't think it's destroyed any then. Oh, the friendly giant's gone. <laughs> oh, the only good one. Two. Hmm. That's gone. It's not the worst thing to get rid of. It helped us before, but that was just chance. Now me gong. E no. I, I wouldn't have done that. Can the I priest thought... choose to fight in psychic combat? Don't if, he, if he can, that's not that bad. Okay. If he can't, we're, we're <laughs> just giving him a free. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's it's strength only. Oh, oh. well. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Hey, hey, I well, was just you know. Of strolling on in. <laughs> exactly. Just thought we'd say hello. Just be nice to us, please, troll. We are a priest after all. Five. Well. <laughs> One. Well. Still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was oh, not bad. All right. That was not a bad <laughs> result. Not a bad result. I read the card wrong. I didn't realise it's a character. I thought it was a an enemy. An, enemy, an enemy. That will um, that will um, teach me to skim read cards in Talisman. <laughs> well done, troll. I don't know how you beat me then. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. So the Eagle King, who I is said something about a tie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was the only outcome that we could have got 
if uh, we'd rolled a six and he'd rolled a one. Yeah. That, that would have been a stand up. Oh, Red there she is. Did it again. Oh, whoops. There she was. <laughs> now she's gone. So, for those who aren't familiar with Talisman, when you draw uh, cards from the board, they'll have a number on them. One, two, three, four, five, six. You face the lowest numbers first. So, most event cards are a one, so you'll face them first. Enemies tend to be two or three. And then, strangers, vents, and places are four, five, six. And objects. So, now, I'm not going to defeat the Frost Giant. Do we get extra experience points just for landing on that square? That is the Eagle King, yeah. who is the, the boss of the region. So you would have there's to... the Eagle King, but there's also the there's also the Giant on there now as well. Yeah. You'd have to face them both, little... unless you lose to the <laughs> first one. I think I might have to Scarpa. I'm not very strong, am I? No. Okay, I'm Scarpered. I'm in the Lost City. Let's see if I'll stay there forever. So eight. an eight. Three gold. Three, Three gold. Three golds. Oh, that, that'll do. It comes back to sudden death. That'll help. Yeah. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood again. It's going to keep coming after me. Oh, the magpie has the talisman. Mm -hmm. space. So that'd be count number one. five. It's a good job I've just explained what those numbers are. Yeah. Eesh. You're not doing too well with your rolls here. No, not against the giant. He, is, is it what? the tracker? Which follow do you have that keeps drawing the nearest enemy to you? Uh, Red Riding Hood. Oh, it's Red Riding Hood. That's why she's flashing up. Falconer. Okay. Should be alright. Spell Weaver. Draw three spells. That's good for the priest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cheshire Cat Girl says, drop Red Riding Hood. She is nothing but trouble to you. <laughs> oh yeah, I could drop her. I forgot about that. Cheshire Cat Girl, I think, has streamed with us I, I'm not sure if it's two or three times, but she's won every time she's uh, we played her, and that's been devs versus community. I so it's us versus like three people, and I've, she's the one that's come out on top. I've played in the game with her at least twice, so I'm sure she's played more than that with us. She beat me last week. Right, Ravine. How many, how many spells am I allowed? Uh, you've got five crafts so that allows you two spells. Got to Oh, I'll take these two then, shall I? So I think you have to select which ones you want first. Oh, okay. Oh no. Do you let me take one? Do you already have a spell? Probably. Or oh, does the spell? Oh, right. Yeah, you do. Yeah. So if we double click on that, that'll cue that. This Maybe one. you can't do it from that window. If we. I don't the other one in the middle. Oh, we, we did queue it. I queued it. Yep. It's going to be the end of you. That Red Riding Hood frost <laughs> giant combo. <laughs> He's a nasty. Right, you need to get. Oh, that was an awful. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> yeah, not an enemy. Oh, you can only get one spell from the spell weaver. Yeah, yeah, I messed up. I thought the opal was an enemy. So that's why I kept moving this way. I was like, I'm gonna get to the, I'm gonna get to the crow. That's still alive. So I attack that instead. <laughs> no. So I think we're both parties are gonna die before the end of the game. <laughs> no, I'm gonna win. Come on, six says. Oh, not gonna win like that. No. So did you read the fighting fantasy books? I I don't know. I have memories of reading choose your own adventure books, but because I was in school in like the mid nineties. Now he's showing off. <laughs> <laughs> I I remember choose your own adventure books, but they were all the rage. 
So I, I don't think I ever read any fighting fantasy books. Right. I, I just think I read the kind of like primary school editions of yeah kind of learn ABCs by going to page yeah. and learning math. Have you ever read any, Stephen? You know the books. I read a few when I was younger. Yeah. Not many. The, the adaption we're doing is based on the first three books. So that's the Warlock of Fire Top Mountain, the City of Thieves, Citadel of Chaos, Citadels of Chaos, Chaos and the City, City of Thieves. Thieves. I think that's, that sounds right. Yeah. Sounds fighting fancy esque. Yeah. Now you <laughs> confuse me now. Yeah. <laughs> See, I always read. I read uh, House of Hell when I was younger, not obviously a few years ago. <laughs> um, right, where am I going? Let's go Glacier. Yes. Is that worth going? Or do yes. You want, yeah, Glacier. Let's go to the Glacier. You huh? went the other way. <laughs> you clicked on the space to see what that space did, and then you clicked move in. <laughs> Whoops. I'm so good at talisman. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. He gets a plus one because it's night time, but we've got six crafts, so. Right, okay. It's just stole one off me. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Oh. It's not good. Four. Oh. John says he played uh, Fighting Fantasy on parchment. On parchment? <laughs> Did you, John? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Scratching away with your quill. <laughs> yeah. I did mine on slate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to do yeah. Um House of Hell. And and, and, and as a kid you'd read it and mm. I didn't get any didn't I read it recently, uh, with my kids thought this would be great. And I didn't get when it, when I was younger I didn't get any of the sort of Klu oh, Klux clan references or anything like that. I was like, Whoa, this is a bit don't remember it being like this. <laughs> All about um, sacrificing virgins and things like that. And it's just like, oh, crikey. I don't remember any of this. I've had a lot of that of kind of uh, having a, a son of my own and kind of, he watches Ben 10 and Mike the Knight and uh, Paw Patrol, all those kind of new cartoons for kids that have like educational things un underneath so the kids don't realize they're learning. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna go on YouTube and I'm gonna get him into Top Cat and Tom and Jerry. Yeah, it's like there's nothing but violence. <laughs> this is true. Violence and really questionable yeah. racial. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like oh, I'm not even trying to dig through there. <laughs> it is. It's funny. Back when I was a kid, things had really strange undertones. <laughs> <laughs> the magic roundabout. That was one. Wasn't it? Um, right. I think I've lost. Badly. Okay. Down to one life. It's not looking good. I need to. And we're rolling for the werewolf. Oh, the werewolf, right. It's, it's not looking good for either of us. It's, no, it's not. It's not is it? I, I think the best tactic at the moment is die as quickly as possible so you don't <laughs> die closer to the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. Get the reset now so you have a chance to build before sudden death. That's, a, that's half getting to my plan. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but the thing is, whoever dies, the other person's going to run to that space and die. Get by whatever stick. killed them. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. That's true. I need a fountain of life. Oh. Right. Andy has said, Psst, guys, call Stephen a nerd. Oh. I'm rude of him. <laughs> <laughs> nerd. Oh, what's wrong with nerds? I quite like nerds. I'm married uh, to one. You're, no. you're, a, you're a nerd if you lose. It takes a nerd to win as well. Yeah. Right. What am I doing? That what? is our escape route. Normal move. You may top up to any other face at rune card. Right, okay. So there's three spaces in the middle region that are runes. Right. The only danger to them is if you fight an enemy there, the enemy gets a plus two to their attack score. Okay. So it's night time, they get a plus one. The rune spaces give them plus two. So as long as you don't draw an enemy when you move, you've escaped the highland. Okay. Oh, did you drop Red Riding Hood? Yep. 
I'm not going to. Oh, Thunder Crest. He's strong. He's no. He's just roll the fire. Oh, we've got the armor, haven't we? As long uh, as you. It's yeah, it's right. safe. That's good. Good roll. You could roll after the match. Yeah. <gasps> One. Well, that's Red Riding Hood. I don't want her, do I? Oh, it's a spell weaver. Is that Red Riding Hood on there? It's spell weaver. Oh, spell weaver. Uh, uh, Red Riding Hood's on the waterfall. Oh. Pyronaut has asked, do we play streams against the community uh, to take on them scrubs? Them scrubs? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, we do. We did it mm. uh, last week, and Cheshire Gap Girl, who is right there, she beat us. I'm pointing off screen because <laughs> we've got a second thing. She's like there. She's in the chat. She's in the chat. Yeah. Yes. No, we like, we do, we do. To be honest, most of our streams we invite the community. Um, this is a bit of a one-off because we're streaming with the lovely Stephen today, who's a right nerd, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm sorry for taking your space as community. I love you. <laughs> Maybe uh, on another stream at some point in the future, we can do devs versus Twitcher versus community. I died. Possibly. I died. We need to uh, roll off the wealth. It's a reset. It's not the end yet. I know. The werewolf is coming to get you, Stephen. That's miles away. Is miles away. away. To be fair. I'm gonna fight you, Luke. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, mm. Two. Have you got any fate? Nope. Oh no. It is a quick route out of the Highland, to be fair. What, to die? Uh, to get defeated <laughs> by the Eagle King, because if you lose to him, you get dumped at the entrance. Oh, okay. So you, you've lost a life, uh, but you've lost the fight, so the armour saves you from yeah. losing a life, and then losing to the yeah. Eagle King. Oh, I get to the Highland. I didn't. I thought you came back as your same character. Because we're on random character, you choose oh, a new character. Oh, okay. Black Witch is the best. She's one of my favourite characters. I've never been the Black Witch. Oh, draw, draw a spell. I, I think I played her once. Restore the world. Start in the middle. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stick to the middle. This is this is why she's one of my favourite characters, because she gives you options. So she rolls two dice. She can move either on the first dice... On the second dice or on the combined of both dice. It's a crazy range of movement. Mm. I like options. Oh, doppelganger. Don't like doppelgangers. Close. D doppelganger. Doppelgangers. <laughs> oh, that's the same strength, isn't it? <laughs> plus night time. So it's your strength plus one. Uh, okay. When is it becoming going to become day? Oh, that's not good, is it? Apparently never. Yeah. <laughs> we need to draw any event card. Cast in the darkness for all eternity. Um, um, what's she on? Seven. Shall I re-roll for uh, two? So you need... Yeah, go on, I'll re-roll. Oh. Yay. Not bad. Defeated. The doppelganger. There we go. <laughs> so the doppelganger can't be taken as a trophy, but for defeating it, you get an automatic plus one to your strength. There is an, an ending type that comes with the Blood Moon expansion called the Lightbearer's Ending. And that is where all characters work as a team. It's the only... <laughs> <gasps> no! That's just not fair! I was, I, I was so excited. I got you finally with the werewolf. Four. <laughs> no! <laughs> Good re-roll. I haven't got many fate, have I? Yeah, I'd save your fate. I'd save, save your fate? I'd take the loss of life and save your fate. Would you? Yeah. All right. A no potential loss. Oh, yeah! Ooh. Ooh, come on, get a one. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so in the Lightbearer's ending, you're all good characters, and the aim of the game is simply to get to the centre of the board. If you do that, all characters win. The thing that is working against you, though, is you have to do it before you run out uh, I'm not sure what the correct term for it is in the Lightbearer's ending 
uh, day night cycles um so you have counters placed for each day and night cycle you get two for every character in the game cheshire cat help me out here <laughs> days is the correct word for it so you have to be get to the center before you run out of days so every time you draw an event card that turns it to night and every time you draw a second event card it turns it to day so every cycle of day and night there you have to uh, i'm doing that, that words thing again where i don't do them well i'm sorry i'm too busy reading my card i'm not even <laughs> listening to you yeah so you've got to get to the sense before you run out of days effectively sorry do you want me to start listening to you no <laughs> probably best that you don't oh you're a you're a toad what uh you know oh oh when that happen <laughs> We're winning. Uh, last turn. <laughs> oh, in the city. Got toaded. Oh. Right, I'm going to come out and pick nick all your stuff then. If there's an enemy you want to face as the toad. The crawling hand. Perfect. Ugh. Right, I've decided what we should do. We should do sound effects for everything that comes up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? I, I was reading about something earlier. Uh, it, it's called like monophobia, I think, oh. which is the kind of irrational fear or dislike. It, it's a theoretical thing as well. It's not confirmed. Okay. But it's the irrational fear or dislike of noises. Oh right. And is that what you've got? I I think so. terrible to live with. No, no. It it tends to have certain triggers. And I think it exists because the group that I play Siege with, one of them, uh, he's always eating. As as I'm sat there with a headset on, all I can hear is, I was like, I'm, I'm going to kill you. Please stop. Mute yourself. <laughs> Go, what? What's wrong? <laughs> uh, there's everything wrong. To be fair, I think that that would irritate me. Constant eating, particularly because you can't share your food, can you? You can't share your food over cyberspace, so it's just rude. Oh, Gollum. I haven't got any trophy points, so that's good. He should be weak, should he? Not really. Yeah, he should be really weak, I think. Yeah. Yep. Plus one for night time. Oh, hey. damn this <laughs> night time. I think the worst noise that I've heard uh, my group make whilst they've uh, been playing is I, I've sat there and we're like trying to take the objective, and all I can hear is in the background and I'm like what is that noise like go on to the party to see who's emitting noise and I see who it is and I'm like what is that he's like oh I'm just cooking a steak wait what <laughs> focus on the game I thought you meant he'd gone to the toilet no he was, he was just <laughs> next to the cooker with a frying pan out cooking right. a steak so I can't hit anything please stop <laughs> So, you don't like noise in that instance, then? No. Why do you stream with me, then? Because I'm quite noisy. <laughs> At least we're not doing sound effects for every character. <laughs> oh, oh, I was really... I was glad really. We should have that on Rev Lobot. No, we A should. Of, yes, hard. we should. A favourite of the Ifrit Slayers. When you defeat a character in battle or psychic combat and choose to take a life, that character must also burn one of his followers. When she rolled as the witch, she could have gone into the third inside place, closer to the uh, gold thing in the middle. Why not go there? Uh, because you have to have a talisman to get there, and the inner region, you have to move one space at a time, and each space has a trial on it. So we're not strong enough in strength or craft to take on the trials of going through the inner region. And we don't have a talisman, which lets us onto the crown of command. So it's dangerous. It is. It's dangerous at this stage in the game. And pointless. And pointless. Because I'm heading to the city to pinch all Stephen's stuff. I mean, that, we're the Black Witch, so there you go. There we go. I'm here. Here we go. That reset's really helped us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not actually reading what any of them do, but... Oh, I think I've just we powered have, up. We have so much stuff, we have too much. I think I've 
pallet right oh great so you can only have four items at any one time unless you've got a mule or something that allows you to carry more stuff right i can't i'm so used to playing off the ipad <laughs> right what should we get rid of i'm thinking maybe oh God, yeah <laughs> when you got toaded favorite <laughs> I was just like looking at the thing, like, does she have another ability? We should go on the town and steal stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you get toaded, you drop everything where you are. <laughs> and then I can come and collect it all. Right, I think I might just get rid of this armor. What, what do you reckon? Uh, I'd get rid of your... When you defeat a character in battle or psychic combat, uh, characters are the players that you're playing against, so we're not going to take... Uh, Stephen on in combat. Okay, fair enough. So I'll just get rid of that one. Yeah. Ditch. Right. Cheshire Cat Girl reckons we should have got rid of the helmet. Yeah. Different tactics. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to go and visit. Yeah. I, I could have changed some of my objects into gold. Yeah, the objects are worth one and you get one gold for each object. So. So you may as well not. May as well not. I'm going to probably get toaded now <laughs> and then Stephen you can come and get all your stuff back yeah, oh you know, fine comes around, comes around. I never, yeah. <laughs> never, mind. never mind I got strength anyway oh I forgot I'm now thinking I'm still the priest I'm quite strong actually is that a hammer of light up there yep Ooh. oh god that was a quick go my turn Right, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Oh, what's on that? A phantom. Let's go to the desert in there. Oh. A desert. I'm gonna go with phantom. Defeat the phantom. Not quite. Oh, it's a stranger. It, it's a good thing because we're evil. Oh, okay. So the first evil character to land there gets to gain a spell, gold, strength, craft, life, fate, or to teleport any to any other space in this region. I'm gonna get strength. Oh. Oh, five rounds remaining. It's gone really quick again. <laughs> oh, I just I get no points. I just get too excited at this game. Just in time for Eurovision coming up on Saturday. Oh, yeah, no point. No point. <laughs> yeah. The sound we're very familiar with. So at the is moment, that, is that this weekend? This Saturday. Oh no. Because are you in? Are you in Scotland, really. Stephen? Are you, do you live in Scotland? Yeah, I do. So it's Scotland versus England. That's not how your official works. No. <laughs> well, it is in this game. Oh, in this it, game, yeah, yes, that makes, it is in that this makes game. more sense. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can make Scotland not proud in another thing now. <laughs> <laughs> right, what have I got here? What's on here? A desert. No, I don't want to do that. And what's on me? Yeah, fly, fly through the highlands. Do it. I'll race you through the highlands. Oh, shall we? Should we do that? Let's head to the Highlands. So, he will get one good. spell to each good character landing there. I'm not good. We are not. I am evil. I just Four like rounds of remaining. Let's go and see if we can get more in the Highlands. I don't think I've actually come across any of the Highlands cards in this, have I? It's because we spent the majority of the time in the Highlands. Yeah. So you had a f we saw a few cards burning from Stevens go, didn't we? Yes. So mm -hmm. the uh, corner board expansions, you can only draw their cards whilst you're in there. All the other expansions, like Sacred Pool, Reaper, Frost March, and the Firelands, uh, they are drawn from the main deck in the centre. You you just go flying into the Highlands there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a witch. I've got my broom. Could have gone even further in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. If you visit the alchemist in the city, you may discard the ruby to gain three gold. Oh, that might be worth doing, man, to it. As we're on sudden death. Not sudden death, but limited rounds. Am I going to get to the city in three goes, though? Be the black witch. Oh, yeah, that's true. Probably will, won't I? <laughs> the tumbling boulder I think has you're returned. about to lose a life. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! The witch is slain. What's that for? Oh, there's a turn. 
not the greatest, not the greatest time to lose a turn. But. <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> not when there's not many rounds left. Right. Here we go. Just, just fly through. Take every high option. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Ninja Eagle King. <gasps> go now, for the Eagle King. The Eagle King. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Push for it. Is him. he over here? Yeah. You obviously, have to move bomb. towards him. All right. Go on then. Let's go with you then. If your craft is lower than your strength, you must fight in psychic combat, which it is. Which it is. And an emerald, which I got that and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have I not got any spells I can use on these? Uh, yes. What's that... this one? The Sepulchra Spectra. Can I use this? Double click. Let's see what happens. Okay. So we've just got a plus one to our craft. Because she has one craft. Not a bad roll. Four. E. Ooh. Ow. Oh. That's not good. No. Not good. Hey, our Revlo bots cut Andy off. <gasps> Gambling too much. Yeah. We don't condone too much turn. gambling. <laughs> oh, right. oh yeah, back to me. Right, let's go over here then. I've always needed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I? Are Ooh. these things at reach? Mantic. Uh, six. Yes. We'll see if we can pick anything up in our next round that allows us to teleport immediately. There's a few of them in the spaces. Gamble. <laughs> if we can't gamble here, we'll have to resort to gambling with real money. That's not how it works. Had the manticore. Not, not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch The Last Unicorn? Anyway, a very old film about a unicorn and that got chased into the sea. By the manticore at the end of the film. Spoilers. Yeah. Ah, we lost two hundred and fifty gold. Oh. It's a good film if you're eight. I'd recommend <laughs> it. The Last Unicorn. Only if you're eight, though. If you're any Only if you're eight. Yeah. Blue. Yeah, I watched it. I watched it when I was younger, and then I watched it as with any films when I was older. I was going, "Oh, the Last Unicorn! I used to love this," and I watched it. Some of the artwork's a bit like Talisman type style artwork. It's a very fancy adventure. And I was like, this is the best film ever. And then I realised how much films have moved on. <laughs> I was like, oh. My, and my kids were like, no, it's not. <laughs> my wife did that. She made me watch Willow. Oh, okay. I've not seen that. It, it's the Warwick Davis magical adventure type Dungeons and Dragons-esque film. And it sounds familiar, but I don't know about it. Hey, oh, again. we huh. won again. Very anticlimactic end. Oh, we got Solid four. Oh, it wasn't even close. It's because you got... You got, got toading. You got toaded, oh, didn't yeah. you, Stephen? You got toaded. Forgot about that. Otherwise, you would have easily beaten us. Yes. Oh, we've lost connection to server. It's just in time. Close. That's lucky. Oh, we still completed our XP. Oh, okay. Hey, level five. Oh, there's a bug for you. Just in time. Oh, what's happened? Hey, we're just having some internet troubles in the office. Oh. Usual. Perfect timing then. Yeah, yes. it makes the stream more interesting. <laughs> so. I mean, normally when we go through, we, we kind of have pen and paper because we find a few bugs along the way. But right, of course. Good I'd way like... to keep track of it. Or Twitch clips. Either yes. or. It, it's one of the things that we do over the weekends is we run the soak test that I was talking about earlier on Twitch. So people, if they want, can see the AI play the AI and just watch how the computer processes decisions. But a good thing about it is if anyone's watching and they see the AI make a mistake, it's documented and people can kind of give us timestamps and say, at this point in this video, this is where it all went wrong. Yeah. Good so, to have. It's a little, little help helps us test our games, mm -hmm. so it's quite handy. And it, it's what contributes towards the patches that we've been doing. I, someone pointed out earlier we've only just had one 
two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, yeah. Mm. And I think we're... It's quite a major patch, actually, wasn't it? There's quite a lot of stuff went in it. Uh, it, mm. it was major in the number of small things. Yeah, it's major. Yeah. There, there was nothing kind of... No game-breaking fixes in there. Cause no. Hopefully there's nothing game breaking in there. No, I don't think so. Hopefully that's not what patch one. Yeah. That's what patch one for typically. <laughs> there's release and then immediate patch one for all the stuff that goes horribly wrong and then yeah, it's maintenance after that. Yeah. That doesn't happen much anymore though, does it? We're getting a bit more slick. Yes. We are. We're getting better. Okay, we are. We're getting good. So how did how did you find that then, Stephen? I know you've played it before. Yeah, it's going good. Yeah. And what I do what I see it goes with a bored more people again at some point yeah just for a how long it'll last and b just <laughs> the madness that will occur with all the spells going off all the people fighting each other yeah exactly right. it's um, well, maybe like you say at some point in the future we'll take on either the community or we'll find a few more uh twitches to play against or something like that we'll come so we'll find something to do yeah and also, if you are playing it, Stephen, as well, you know, just let us know, and we can always jump in on the chat as well. Happy yeah, to do that. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, happy to uh, do that. Just keep us in the loop. If, if we take sudden death on, we'll actually see a game through to its natural end. Yeah. And it won't be decided immediately by who gets toaded. <laughs> I know that was a bit unfortunate. That's talisman. Or it won't be yeah. decided by who picks up three talismans in a run. <laughs> I know that was amazing. And a, and a, and a dragon. Because how many, how many talismans are in the deck of cards? Four. Yeah. I think there's four natural ones, and then each kind of, uh, the. I think the quest rewards gives a talisman. Yeah. And you also get one in the Highlands. But if you play with Bloodbath, there's only one natural talisman in the deck. Yeah. You can draw one from the quest rewards, but. You can't draw three in a row. Yeah, so that was that was good going. That very good going. First Pretty round. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. Do we need to do the uh, steam key draw? Yeah, we should probably do that. Should we do that now? Pyro, not. We will be abandoning you shortly. Sorry. <laughs> right. So we're gonna see who's gonna win our raffle to win the steam key. Steam key. Someone's claimed a postcard. <laughs> oh, we've got a postcard. <laughs> Is that what that noise just was? We, oh, I just got a ping in my ear. we got a little ping. We got a ping in our ear on the stream. And if you go, if you if you watch us enough, um, and you get enough gold, you can actually get a personal postcard signed by us all. Yeah. <laughs> so Revlo offers a number of kind of default rewards on top of the custom ones you can put in. So when I was first uh, kind of putting it all together, it just went. The top tier one is send a postcard. Yeah. And because of the AI streams we've been doing over the weekend, people just sat in on that and kept it going in the background, so they've racked up all the gold. Yeah. And oh, some, there's a yeah, someone's just claimed a postcard. Our first postcard is going to be on its way. How exciting. Right. So, uh, for the free Steam Keys for Talisman draw, we shall now end that and draw a winner. So, we had 75 tickets purchased. So, we have a winner of XX Gears. XX Gears. Well done. <laughs> there you go. Uh, should we... Thank you. <laughs> so that's the Steam Key winging its way over to XX Gears for the Talisman with the base game, that is, that uh, we've been playing today. So without the Highland, um, but provides hours of fun. Have you seen? Should we draw another winner? Yeah, how many did we say we're going to do? I think we said... Three? Three, I think. Yeah, let's get another one. Who Three. else? Yeah. <gasps> but Steve uh, Bornheim, he's the one who uh, got the quiz, the Bob Harris question. Oh, okay. So we owe him two. Two? Well right, done. I'll write oh, these that was down. lucky. Two. Steve. He can play with his friend. One to give to a friend. I, I think Revlo keeps track of all this stuff. <laughs> we hope so. If but not. I'm writing it down just in case. If not, if for any reason we can't get hold of you. Um, just um, tweet us or Facebook us or email us. Uh, at... uh, everyone will tweet us then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my, my Twitter handle's different to my Twitch handle. That's yeah, funny. it was me. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's me. Yeah, that, that... Matt asks a few searching questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've done these before. We, we'll get the, those keys yeah. out to you. And you never know, if we do do a community stream in the future, I know at least we do devs versus community regulars, but 
if six got does any then you'll be able to join in yeah uh did you um sounds good did you announce the third one yes oh no i no. didn't i just pressed the button yeah and wrote it down. he wrote it down didn't uh, actually tell you who it was oh <gasps> the, the suspense the yeah. final key goes to da, da, da. 197 and the 33 so your nerd lover ah nerd lover Aww. There we are. So well done, guys. Oh, there you go. Revlobot's already told them. Oh, have they? We're behind Revlobot. Oh. Good old Revlobot. Oiling everything. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Suspense ruined. Well, that's it. This right, we won't even need to stream. Revlobot will do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks very much for joining us, Stephen. Or did we join you? Uh, uh, I feel like I joined you. I'll let you explain most how the game went and such. But hopefully, the next time we do a stream like this, uh, you'll be an expert and you, you'll show hopefully, us how it's done. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're looking to um, link up with uh, uh, other Tarzman streamer, Myrathi, aren't we? Um, mm -hmm. So um, we'll give give him a game, a tutorial game, and then we'll all get together and see who can conquer right. the crown of command. Like a plan. Yeah. With more players, we have uh, the more chances of failure because then they can bully us yeah <laughs> the, it's the the natural curve of talisman of everyone working for themselves and then you realize that someone's getting a bit ahead a bit ahead of themselves and they're starting to like make a move for the crown yeah so then you have to yeah. join forces it's, yeah a bit of bullying it's, yeah, it's kind of like uh whenever played our mellow in the past as well like everyone kind of begins that game like on oh, my quest is behind you it's like oh yeah on you go it's fine it's fine and then as people start to continue more quests like yeah i can't let you pass me now You're standing <laughs> on it. fight me it's yeah. a lot of those kind of, uh munchkins one of them smash ups another uh they have played munchkin in so long it, munchkin is one of those games where it, it's first to get to the level 10 and you do that by defeating enemies and so on and so forth but whoever is first to get to level nine is never going to win the game because then they become the immediate target bullied. Of, of everyone. At that point, everyone's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to fight this like level one monster from my hand. No one, no one can do anything, right? And then everyone's just like, plus five, plus five, yep. plus ten. Like, it, guys, can I get help from everyone? No. <laughs> the, the trick is to coast in just behind player one. Because when they hit level nine, everyone burns through their plus cards. And then when they get knocked back a peg, you you go to level nine and no one has anything left to take you on. Because it was all wasted on the first person to get there. <laughs> oh, we've been exactly. we've been accused of cheating. Cheating the cheating devs. We have some of your uh, fucking followers. I can't read it. It's blue. So I'm too far away. Dark blue. It's Chaos Origin. Chaos. 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 Yeah. Dev hacks. Yeah. Do you know what? We, we tried to be fair by getting me to play. <laughs> <laughs> but then I suppose I've played it a bit, but not quite as much as Gav. And actually, I did ask for some tips, didn't I? So probably was a bit cheating there. I think I, the hours that I've done are a fraction compared to what some of our community have as well. Uh, I think I'm at 1,050 hours. And we've got community members that have done 4,000 plus hours. Yeah. It's just, it's just it's insane. Ridic uh, ridiculous. Yeah. There's well, a lot of love. There's a lot of love. I've only put that many hours into Wind of Isaac, and that's it. It's the only game I've put over a thousand hours into. Yeah. I, I, I just think, I think with Talisman as well, it's, it's got such replayability that um, people just pick it up and, and play it. And also, we get a lot of, in fact, some, some media journalists um, who uh, actually play it in the background while they're at work with their friends across the continents. And uh, yeah, they play at work in the background. <laughs> Because yeah, it's because it's on uh, iPads and Androids and all all that stuff, it's easy to have going on a mobile device on the side and just mute your device as soon as someone turns up. Yeah, yeah. Not that we condone that such behaviour. I do. But yeah, we no, do actually. Not. Yeah, of course we do. I've had horrible jobs in the past. Yeah. Get what happiness you can. Yeah, as long as you're playing Talisman, obviously. <laughs> but yeah. So, well, thank you very much, everyone, for, for joining us today. And thanks for Stephen. Um, it's been great. And maybe we'll stream again in the future together with some so, other, good. Uh, other um, streamers. Uh, and just to remind everybody in the 
in the chat as well who's watching um we've got some new correct new characters new uh, warlords coming out for talisman the horus heresy very shortly so um just check our facebook and twitter for updates on those that's quite imminent uh, and the next expansion for talisman digital edition the game we've been playing today is the dragon expansion uh, the much sought after dragon expansion so that will be coming out this summer as well so uh, more excitement to add to the board yep and and i'm looking forward to that plan yeah then. and i think Stephen, you've got the gold pass so you'll automatically get that those yes. expansions won't you as well so yeah so i think that's it really do you want to surround the board with, like every single piece and then it's very majestic when it's yeah. full it's we've done three of the corner board expansions with the last one missing being the woodlands in the bottom right and that is triggering a lot of people's ocd <laughs> like, I don't care what you're working on now. Please just make the woodland so everything can be even. Ah no, don't worry. Just like just like slot the woodlands like behind the dungeon. Connect. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter if it makes sense. <laughs> just do it. Yeah. Bob it on. Oh, uh, floppy quills just joined us. Hi. <laughs> We've just finished. Hey, We've just finished floppy. Close. Yeah. We'll arrange a game though. We will arrange a game. We've been chatting to Floppy. We'll arrange a game. He's one a streamer as well. We'll arrange a game with him at some point. But we've got to go home for my tea now. Yeah, it's I'm late. hungry. <laughs> it did get chippy. Yeah. I, I, that sounds like a plan. It does not a very healthy plan, but yeah. yeah. I mean, as I was saying, get what happiness you can. Yeah. All right, I'll right. take it off just so I can do the end for my stream. Thank you guys for the games. No worries. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for. Thanks. No problem. Thank you. And as you said, we'll have another game a bit later, setting up for maybe I'll we'll, maybe I'll we'll hop in for all the community days. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, sounds so good. Sort of. Yeah, we'll keep in touch. We'll keep in touch. And uh, sounds like a plan. That'd be great. All right then. All right. Have yourself a wonderful evening, guys. Yeah. Take Thanks, care. guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. You were a bit late. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's six Scott gone. The, for everyone that has joined and watched and chatted and bought tickets and won, t uh, won copies of the game, thanks for being here. Uh, it, it makes it fun to play. And thank you especially to six Scott. I put his, uh, his link in our chat. Go over... Uh, Follow him, show him some love. It's on Twitter too. It's on Twitter too. As we are. And yes, so we'll be back here next week at five o'clock. A few more updates. And we also might have another guest streamer. Uh, but again, if you're ever interested in streaming with us, just let us know um, through um, our social media or, or that are in the chat while we're yeah. chatting. We, we're pretty bad at it, but normally we announce on uh, the Steam community forums if we're going to be doing a Talisman stream. Uh, so we'll get better at that so you know it's happening. And if we're doing a first community game, uh, it tends to be first come, first serve. But if we get enough people wanting to play with us, then we'll kind of arrange a schedule of... Uh, who's going to be joining us for yeah. any game. Yeah. But failing that, just pop along Thursday, 5pm, and see if you can find a game with us. Yeah, say hello. And watch out for the AI versus the AI at the weekend, mm -hmm. if Gareth remembers to put it on. Getting better. <laughs> he is, he is, he's getting better. Right, right. then that's it. Thanks, take guys. Care. Bye. Bye. Bye.